unique, diverse, and powerful places on the planet that we're living on right now. Potentially the most powerful room and the most powerful decisions that could be made on this planet are happening and everybody in the fucking world knows it, whether they like it or not. <laughs> so, I know that there are, at any given time, there's about 7 million people involved in our criminal justice system. A broken ass system. I know that when this group, when we get moving, gets working on that, we're going to fix it. I know that our educational system is falling through the floor. Back up. Most of the people that are locked up are, should be here. They're poor. People of color. People who have been disenfranchised by other systems in our systems. And that is our educational system, which is failing. Our healthcare system, which is failing. Our livable wage, which is a joke in some cases for a massive number of us out here. Um, there are people dying. I think, you know, that I was talking to a friend in Florida yesterday, and, and her husband was saying that some shit about um, before this is over, there's going to be blood in the streets. There's going to have to be blood in the streets. And I said, but wait a minute. There's tons of blood in the streets. We just killed 500,000 people at some estimates in Iraq, unjust wars. Um, women's issues. Just go. I, if you turn on the TV, it's a women's issue. Um, there, there are disgusting things going on. Hey, what? Women issues. Just be careful. Stop being so it goes on and on and on. We live in a system that we don't even recognize anymore as, as just being as bad as it is. And I know that in this room we can fix it. And I'll tell you, I, I rarely feel like this, but lately I have been feeling absolutely disgusted in my heart. And it's not with systems, but it's with individuals. Certain individuals that are really willing to come in here and point out, dwell on, stick to the problems that we have, the few things that we need to take a look at in this beautiful, blossoming, evolving new world that we are creating. These ugly people who are potentially stopping the death of 500,000 people in Iran, which may be next or somewhere in South America that may be next, because they just love to stick and stink and smell in the problem. And the problem's here daily. And they can't get outside of themselves enough to know that it's bigger than them. Not only that, that our main goal here is progress, not perfection. Mm -hmm. We have a broken little machine, but it's like the windshield wiper squeaks, that's all. And if we're going to throw the whole car away because the windshield wiper sweeps, sweeps, there is something really wrong with us. Built into this system, a smart system, is a self-correcting situation. Where, if you are patient, and you are smart, and you get involved, whether you're doing this, or this, or this, for hand signals, whatever, you can fix it. But we have to fucking move. We have to fucking move. The world is watching. And if you're going to sit here and dwell on the problem, I don't want to know you. I don't want to see you, and I am disgusted with you. It is selfish to the point that I can't even put words to. And if you don't understand the issue, if you're not emotionally, spiritually, capable of being here, <coughs> do the right thing and recluse yourself. Because we've got things to do.